Hey guys. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Um, I've moved my microphone, so it may be slightly different. So just let me know if you can hear me. We have our lovely supervisor here as well. He's joining me for now. Now, realistically speaking, at some stage, my dad's going to come back and he's going to go mad. So I apologize in advance for the barking. Um, how's everybody doing? That's mandatory. <laughs> hey, Darkling. Hey, B. How we doing? How are you guys doing? Can you hear me okay? I got me water. I've got me water here. Um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? How are you getting on? Definitely. Okay. So I don't know if there's a delay on my stream or anything. So if there is, I apologize. Um, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up or anything or just drop me in chat if you guys can hear me okay. Hello. So I kind of just want to go over today the kind of stuff that's going to be coming up on the channel. Um, I want to answer any questions you guys have. Um, if you've got questions, you can let me know. Um, okay, cool. Thanks, B. Um, one second. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I got a couple of updates. I want to talk about what we're going to be doing in the next kind of couple of weeks. Sorry, let me change this really quick, guys. Do, do, do. Um, and that kind of stuff, because I've more planned for this series. The series is going to go on for a while, obviously, considering if you guys are enjoying it. Um, and you're enjoying what I'm doing. So that'll be coming up. I have... Uh, I have another couple of things I'm thinking of doing um, and I want to chat to you guys about them. And then obviously we have the renovation starting soon. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. Um, I have asked, um, but we don't have a solid date yet, but it is going to be next month. Um, and next month starts in a week, so <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that early, but it will be soon. Loving it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Be how are you doing, my love? Um... But yeah, so I think I'm just going to probably jump straight into it rather than me sitting here waffling for 10 minutes uh, about nothing, about absolutely nothing. Um, anyway, so what I want to what I want to start by saying, apparently I can't speak today. Great day to do a live stream. Um, uh, one thing I want to talk about is I would I'm thinking of doing more live streams like every so often, like breaking up the series as we've done on this one. And that was kind of one of the reasons that I wanted to do this was to break up the series. And also so I can get a bit more like active feedback from you guys, see if you are actually enjoying it. Because I don't want to keep making a series and keep creating content and stuff if you guys are just like boring. I'm over it. Um but yeah so that's the kind of thing I want to do. So I want to kind of do more regular live streams. Um Break up series is a great idea. Thank you, Darkling. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to do it this way, like that. We'll do a couple of episodes and then we'll do a live stream. Now, obviously, look at him. Thanks, V. Um, now, obviously, you know, with this, we've done whatever. I think it was eight episodes and then we've done the live stream. So I don't know what I do it that way in like, you know, we'll do a room or we'll do a section. Then we'll do a live stream or if we'll do it like once a month. Um, I'm kind of working on that kind of stuff. Um, and trying to figure that out. Okay, I've just realized there's loads of fizz. Sorry, my camera. This appears backwards to me. Um, over here. Fizzy fizziness. Um, let me turn my lights a bit. Um, maybe that will help. Now, it could also just be because the computer I'm on, the screen is gigantic. So it may be appearing like that. Um, hold on, guys, a little bit. Okay, hold on. Bring you up a bit. Bring you up a bit. Is that any better? I don't want to blow it out either. Um, we'll stick with we'll stick with. As for uh, as, okay, one second. Um. 
Sorry about that. Um, yeah, he's not gonna. If you can hear him in the background, I apologize. He's not gonna stop. Um, until oh, he has actually stopped. Give me, give me one moment. No, sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, so there's no fizziness here. Okay, it could be, it could be my, um, it could be my monitor, because my mon my my screen, my computer. I have a Mac, so it's not really a monitor, it's a computer. Uh, my Mac is five K, so this is obviously not being broadcast in five K. <laughs> I don't even know if YouTube allows that. Um, but yeah, my camera isn't five K, so I can't broadcast in five K. Um, anyway, I'm a bit waffly. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got totally thrown off there by the dog. I apologize. I apologize. But yeah, so uh kind of doing more regular live streams, maybe do a monthly one. I don't know. Um, as you guys know, um my channel recently got monetized. So I want to thank you guys for that because without you, that would never have happened. Um because I can't do this by myself. Um uh, and I appreciate all of you for that. Um and also this I need to warn you of now that my channel is monetized. There may be more ads on my videos. Um which I know some of you will probably not be very happy about. Um, but that is how monetization works on YouTube. Um, we've got the super chats, um, which are turned on now. No one, I want to point this out. No one is under any obligation to do super chats at all. None whatsoever. Um, but they are turned on um, at the moment. And then the ads are turned on. And I don't have control over the ads. YouTube decide that. Um, I have some pre-roll ads, which will run throughout videos. I've set them to just a balanced thing. I didn't want them to work really high rent, and I don't want to be driving you guys mad with ads. Um, all goods for ads for its goes. Oh, thank you, D. Uh, Dr. I really appreciate that. Um, because I know I know ads can be annoying. Now, if you're a YouTube premium member, this doesn't bother you in the slightest. You don't watch ads. Um, but I just have put them on normal. I've put them on average, balanced, whatever you want to call it. Um. So I just want to let you guys know that in case you have noticed more ads, stuff like that. That's why. Um, because that's part of the, that's how you, being a YouTube partner works. You get paid from the ad revenue. Sorry, I'm just going to be sipping on my water. Um, but yeah, anyway, so um, Super Chats are on now. So you can, you can use that. You'll see it a little like dollar sign, a little square down beside the chat. As I've already said, there's no obligation. I do not expect anybody to do it. I'm just letting you know it's there. I'm just letting you know it's there. Um, there'll probably be more coming to play as well as we get bigger lives and stuff like that. Um, if anyone's interested, absolutely no obligation. Now, a couple of things I want to talk about today. I am thinking of doing, and again, I want your guys' input on this. I want your guys' feedback on this. Um, because I don't want to be doing things that you guys are interested in. I'm thinking of doing some merch for the channel. And I want to go know if you guys would be interested in that. We'd be doing sponsorships, e cloths. Um, sponsorships, I I'm I'm not gonna say no. Um, I'm an affiliate with e cloth, I do believe. But what I need to do is I need to completely overhaul all of that stuff. Um, I did have an Amazon um what you call her, Amazon, you know, affiliate thingy. Um, but unfortunately, the the way it works is you have to get a certain number of qualifying purchases and they cancel it. So they've canceled it because I didn't get enough, but I'm going to be setting that back up. And because now I have 1000 subscribers, I can apply for the, what's it called? Oh, the Amazon storefront, which will make it much easier. Cause I can just put a link and then everything will be there because before it was like, I had to put, I had to connect a link for Amazon, but because obviously I'm in Ireland, so we use Amazon UK here. And in Europe, a lot of people use the European. So I had like the, the UK one, and then I had the American one, and then I had the Canadian one. And then there was like Spanish and French, Sp Spain and France and Germany are different. So it was just like, it was very confusing and so many links. And it was just, they don't connect together. And it was, it was a whole thing. We've been supposed to, actually, I don't see the Super Chats button. Okay. Well, it, if it might, it should be there. I don't know if it is or not. Um, where you type in chat, there should be like a little, a little like circle and there's a square with a dollar sign in it. Um, it should be there. If it's not, like it's like it's coming up on mine, but again, I don't know. Um, again, there's no obligation to for anyone. I don't want anyone to come on here and feel like they have to pay, you know what I mean, and locking stuff behind con or behind paywalls and stuff like that. You know, I do need to swear from rub my brain cannot figure it out. Yeah, I haven't a clue yet, I haven't looked at it. 
Uh, but once you've a thousand subscribers, you can apply for Amazon Influencer. There's a whole, there's a whole number of reasons why I haven't done it yet. Um, I don't want to get into a big rant about it. I just I don't fully agree with some of Amazon's work practices and how they treat their staff, which is kind of why I, when the thing ran out, I just let it go. Um, but I do know that me doing that's probably not going to stop people shopping on Amazon, and I would rather be able to show you guys the products. That I'm talking about because I do get messages from people occasionally being like, where do I get this? Where do I get that? And I'm like, well, Amazon has all of it. Um, I think they're getting better. I think they are. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I can see the super right to the comment box. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was also cancelled by Amazon. <laughs> you have to get a certain number of qualifying purchases. I nearly had it. Um, B, if you're on mobile, you might need to refresh. Or it might not. I don't know if it comes up on mobile or not. To be honest, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I'm very rambly. Guys, if you've ever been to me live streams, this is generally how they go. <laughs> They're very rambly, very rambly. But yeah, hopefully coming soon. Amazon storefront, fingers crossed. Um, now, Darkling, you're asking me about eClots. I am a affiliate with eClots. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm still an affiliate with eClots. Um, but I want to create links, um, links for that. I basically need to overhaul everything. Um, I had great plans to do it this week, but I was quite sick this week. Um, honestly, I've been sick for like two weeks, but I'm trying to like power through and get the videos done. Um, because I know you guys are here and you want to see them. Uh, uno momento, por favor. Hello. He must have got bored downstairs. Hi. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, sorry. Supervisor knocked my microphone over. So if that deafens you, I apologize. Max does not care about microphone. Like, th thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> but anyway, um, say, look, look up here, Maxi. Look up here. There you go. Say hello. And I got to put pop him up. Okay. Max does that. Max jumps when he is ready to jump. He does not wait for you to be ready for him to jump. Um, sorry, two point six. I'm on the mat. Yeah, it's more. It's more just mental health stuff. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get hugely into it. Um, part of the process. It's part of the process. Um, but anyway, yeah. So what was I saying? Sorry, this dog distracts me, and then I'm like, Matt, where was I? Um, but yeah. Look at him. He's such a baby. He's such a baby. Are you a baby? Can I have paw? Can I have paw? Can I have paw? No, he's going to show me up on YouTube and pretend he hasn't been trained. Can I have paw? Nice to meet you. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, now, if I was if I was sitting here by myself, there was no one here. He didn't have a problem. Um, anyway, focus. Um, sorry, I ripped myself open today. I was doing the washing line that snapped. Slammed my hand into the windowsill. That was fun. Um, but anyway, so focusing back on track. Amazon storefront will probably be coming soon. You were asking about the e-clots. Um, I'm going to have to figure out if there's a way I can do that. Or I can just link the, like, you know what I mean? The store. I don't know if I can do that. Sorry. Another moment, por favor. Now he's gone again. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to see if I can connect that some way. I need to basically redo all the links on all my older videos because I'm pretty sure all of them have expired. So I don't even know if they'll work. Never mind do anything else. So that will be coming coming very soon. Um, other things that will be coming soon. Um, I'm thinking of doing merch. I would love your guys' opinions. Drop them in the chat if you'd be interested in that. Absolutely no pressure. Absolutely no obligation. I just wondered if it would be something you guys would be interested in. I spoke to a few friends of mine the other day and they were like, when are you doing merch? I want to get your merch. So I said, you know, I'm having a live. I'll ask them. I'll ask anybody if they're interested. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to kind of figure out how that, that whole thing works. But um, sorry, if you guys see me looking over to the side, I'm the chat is here on my computer. That's why I'm looking down. Um, so I'm thinking of doing that. Let me know. I'd also love to do merch. Well, yeah, I, I, that that can be true, but I think I think it depends as well on the companies. There's, like, there's several companies that do it. That's why I want to look into it and see if there's any interest in it before I go and do it. 
Um, because obviously, if you guys aren't interested, then I'm, I, you know, I won't do it. Like, just it was just a suggestion a few friends made me, so I said I'd ask if anyone's interested. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the point. What we're doing? Hello, <laughs> and we have some new people who have just joined. Hello, welcome. Join the chat if you're more than welcome. Join the chat if you want. Um, I also just wanted to mention, as previously mentioned, the ads. There's a couple more ads on my channel now because I've been monetized on YouTube. So thank you all for that, guys, so much. I really appreciate it. You're interested. Okay, thanks, B. Oh, you too, D. Thanks, darling. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go into that. I'm probably going to throw up a couple of polls on the community tab. So keep an eye on that um, for that kind of thing. So, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so all over the place today. I do apologize. Um, anyway, so coming up on the channel. I'm going to fill you with guys in that really quick. So we're going to be continuing on the most extreme, most extreme declutter series. We will be continuing on that. Um, I think the next, the next room we're most likely going to be doing, I think is the kitchen. Um, Like we have our other rooms to do up here, but if they're coming up in the next couple of weeks, um, the rooms that I need other people to contribute to, I need my dad basically to contribute because a lot of stuff is his. So, um, I can't just do it like when he's not around. So um, I will be probably doing the kitchen. I'll probably be starting. I'm, I want to say, I'm going to say provisionally next week. That's going to be starting next week. That's going to be a big job. Oh, the kitchen. So much, so much stuff. So many things, so little time. Um, but that's probably going to be a very, very big declutter series. Um the kitchen so that's probably going to take a couple of weeks and again as i've mentioned in previous videos we have construction starting now well renovations shall i say construction seems very dramatic um can i have a chat with dad exactly <laughs> but um oh what you call her um the renovations will be starting soon and i probably will film that but what i may do with that is film it now and then show you guys after if that makes sense um, I need to see how that's going to go. Again, I don't know the start date yet, so I can't really make any promises on that. But I also want to do the kitchen as well because I don't want to start up here doing a declutter series. And then, you know, the builder come in two weeks and then we have to stop halfway through because that's annoying. Um, But yeah, so hopefully we'll do the kitchen because that means I can work around in there and I'm not bothering anybody. and I'm not in anybody's way, apart from when we're using the kitchen, obviously. Um, but that's probably going to be the next couple of weeks is the kitchen. It's probably going to be a big series. There's a lot of stuff in the kitchen. The last time the kitchen was decluttered was oh, two years ago, I want to say. It could be longer. But yeah, two years. And like, I'm going to be honest, guys, stuff we kept, the amount of it, like, I was like, oh, I'll use that for this. And I, I didn't. Like, it's just sat in the press for two years. Not being used. So, you know, why we're keeping it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a big, huge series. And I don't know why. The, the kitchen is somewhere I struggle with. It's like when I start on it, I'm grand. But it's like starting it, it it's... I think it's just because there's so many items in it. Like so many individual items I need to go through. Hey, girl. How are you? Good luck with the kitchen. We had discussions the last time we did our... <laughs> been there <laughs> been there um it's so funny as well like the stuff that you're like you're like i don't have to keep it and then you're like a year later you're like i haven't used that one time and it's going are the shelves in your bedroom as well as feel like you could re-maximize things by reconfiguring the bedroom. no unfortunately not us and hello alice welcome in lovely to have you um they're not unfortunately so that unit is the warrior was built in three units obviously as you can see i'm not in my room right now i'm in another room but in my room, there it's the the, the wardrobe built in three inches, built in the two side wardrobes, and then the shelves in the middle, um, and then it's obviously in like a frame, I suppose you could call it. Now, my ideal, my ideal scenario, um, would be to rip the whole thing out and start again, um, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Um, sorry, I'm knocking stuff over. Um, I don't know what the what the what the deal is there really i have to sit down and discuss it um because for those of you who don't know this is my dad's house so it's up to him he owns it so i don't get to tell him what to do now obviously if he like i can talk to him about it and we can discuss it but uh you know i can't just decide yeah i'm gonna rip it out um but 
because the way those wardrobes, and I think I mentioned it in the series, but in case I didn't mention it in the series, those um those wardrobes are really, really deep. So the way the house is built, my my where my room is in the middle, where those like bookcases are, if you want to call them that, there's a chimney breast behind that. So like it kind of goes in. I'm gonna see if I can show you this. So it kind of goes in this figuration, if that makes sense. No, I'm doing that backwards. It's like the chimney comes out and then there's the walls. So the wardrobes are in front of the walls and then there's the bookcases. And the bookcases are, this is really bad because the size, the angle of this camera is going to make, I can't, I can't explain to you. <laughs> this camera, I don't know why it's making everything look really weird. Um, But as you can see, the bookshelves are quite deep. The wardrobes are even deeper. Like the wardrobe, I think, goes up to like here on my arm. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a very tall person. So... Um, when I say something is, you know, I have long arms, <laughs> but the wardrobe is very, very deep. Um, so it just kind of feels like I don't want to say wasted space because that's the, that's the wrong, that's not what I mean. But I just feel like the space isn't used very efficiently or effectively. Um, like those wardrobes, I designed those wardrobes. I think when I was, I want to say fifteen. So at the time, I was in school. I was trying to convince my parents to let me have a TV. <laughs> um, I have a TV. Oh, look, there's a TV, actually. That that was, should have gone into the middle section, but the, probably it won't. It's too, the middle section's too small. Um, and it was built by a carpenter, so it's not like it was flat pack shells that I can just adjust. I can't. Um, yeah, it makes all sense. you got to make it work based on what you have. Bring your dad's house, which is definitely a clothing one. Yeah. So, anyway, I've got to talk to him about it. I have talked to him about it, but... Um, I think what he wants to do versus what I want to do are not the same thing. And um, I'm not paying for it, so... <laughs> My opinion has slightly less of an input. Which is absolutely fair. Absolutely fair. But yeah, and it's like, that's the kind of thing, that's kind of, you know, one of the reasons as well where I'm not able to give you guys definitive, like, answers to a lot of stuff at the moment because I don't know when the renovations are starting. I don't have an exact date. We still don't know what's... Like what's being like I know roughly what's being done, but I don't know specifics of each section, each room, each whatever. You know, would have been easier with an IKEA wardrobe. Exactly. And like if it wasn't IKEA wardrobe ideal, I'd love to get an IKEA wardrobe. But look, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um but that's well one of the reasons why I wanted to get that done first, because one of the rooms I know is being done is my room. Um the shelving. Oh yeah, I used to have shelves over my bed. Um, if you guys have seen the box bedroom shelves, they're like them. Um, they were. If you guys have seen my earlier videos, you've seen the shelves. Um, the stuff on that number one, the dust was always falling off, but stuff did fall off those shelves, and it's just like, it kind of, it kind of feels like a little bit. Um, because the room hasn't been done in so many years, it kind of just felt like we were just like tacking on stuff, you know, put that in there, shove extra storage there, da 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 da, -da. It's before I really got into decluttering, so I just had so much, I just had so much crap in my room. Um, like I had so much stuff, but um, like I, I want to have a room that's like functional as well as like looks nice and whatever. But like my room is going to be a big job. Now, originally we were going to start in my room, but I think that plan has now changed because there's been other rooms added in. So, well, anyway, what I can what I can tell you for sure is what's going to happen in my room in the renovations. What I know so far. So the first thing that's going to happen is all the wallpaper needs to come down. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but my entire room is wallpapered. It's been wallpapered for 30 years odd. The wallpaper's been up there. 20, anyway. I think it's 30 years. Up there. I don't know how long. So anyway, it's up there for a long time. So that's all going to have to be taken down and then the water's going to, the water, the wall, the wall even, the wall is going to have to be replastered or skimmed or something. I don't know how that's done. I'm not an expert in that kind of stuff. Um, my ceiling has to be skimmed as well. Uh, we have stippet on it or popcorn ceiling, if you know it's popcorn ceiling, that needs to all come off. That's up there years as well. Um, and then there's some repairs that need to be done in my, the some of the wood is gone in my floors. Wall to plaster or drywall. Right plaster or drywall. I thought plaster and drywall were the same thing. Thank you, B. 
Um, I'll wait a couple of seconds just for the ad. Because I don't want to say anything too important if you are not a YouTube subscriber. Or a premium, should I say. Because premium, if you're on premium, you don't have ads. Uh, B, if you can let me know when the ad's finished as well, I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, anyway, referring back to what I was saying, popcorn ceiling, that needs to go. The plastering, that needs to go. Um, and then oh, the floor has to be repaired. So there's a couple of bits. Thank you. So there's a couple of bits, um, there's a couple of areas of the floor. There's one in front of the shelving unit that needs to be repaired and just inside the door needs to be re repaired as well. And then with that, obviously, the carpet's going to be coming up and that's going to be taken out. I think I'm getting a new carpet. I'm not sure. There were two short ones. So do you mean brick wall or drywall? Oh, drywall, drywall, drywall. Um, this, the these, I think all the connecting wall them. Yeah, they're all drywall. Um, they're plasterboard. The they're what you call them. They're they're like hollow walls. Yeah, they're drywall. Um, they're not brick. The only brick well, we don't have brick. We have concrete. Um, I'm oh, sorry if you can hear the barking. We've concrete is on the outside of the house, and then the inside is plaster. I think it's all. I don't think it's all plaster, but a lot of it is plaster, like drywall, plasterboard. Um, but yeah, realistically, when we take the wallpaper down, the um. I would imagine some plaster and the drywall is going to come with it. It's been up there an incredibly long time. Um, parts of it are already coming down. They have been for a few years and we've done like little sticky repairs and stuff. But um, like it was just, it was just the way it was done back then. And my room hasn't been done up in a very long time. Like the wardrobes were put in, but like the wallpaper and stuff wasn't taken off. There's also the room I'm in now. This room's been done as well. So the, there's wallpaper up in here as well. That's going to be coming down. Um, I don't know if the carpet in here is staying. I don't know. That's that's the honest answer. I'm not sure. Um, oh, sorry. I'm just make sure I have. I'm up to date on the chat. Um, but so that's going to be done as well. The same thing with the ceiling. We have this stippling popcorn ceiling thingy. It's in a lot of the house. My mom did it actually back. I think in the nineties. I want to say the two thousands. I don't know. She did it herself, but um, it's just we don't like. It's not. You know, it's not really in style anymore. And it's just, it's it's kind of silly. Um, I think it was done back in the day to just give extra strength to the ceiling. I don't know. I really, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know. But it's all over the place and we want to get rid of it because it's not great. Um, But yeah, so that's going to be done. So plaster, the wallpaper is coming down everywhere. Anywhere we have wallpaper upstairs, it's coming down. Um, It's kind of one of those things that was put up years ago and we just kind of left it. But now it's just like it should have come down already. Or it needs to come down. So that's going to be happening a lot of upstairs. There's bathrooms being done as well. I think my floor has been fixed. There's a couple of tiles in my bathroom broken. that They're being fixed. Um, And then my dad's getting a good bit of stuff done in his bathroom. Stippling can collect dust. Oh my God, yes. Yes, it does. It's a nightmare. I tried to clean the ceiling in my room once. It's in one of the old videos. And the amount of paint or like chips that came off the ceiling. Never mind the dust. On top of the dust, the dust was unbelievable. But the dust just and it just clings to it. So it's just like it's a nightmare. Um but yeah, anyway, as I said, that's what's been done in my room. The floor's been repaired, the walls are being replastered, uh, and the paper's coming down. The ceiling has to be done, the carpet's coming up. Um, I think I'm getting a new bed as well. Um I have a new ish bed, but unfortunately the mattress is too soft. Um that's kind of driving me mad. Um and then I don't know what's happening with the flooring. I think I'm getting a new carpet, but I'm not sure. And the wardrobes are TBD, lads. To be determined, to be confirmed. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Um, and again, as I said, I haven't spoken to the builder, so I don't know if he'll mind me filming or not. Um, he might not want to be on camera, which is like absolutely fair. Um, so I may just do a quick short video of like before and after. I don't know yet. I, I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, but that's been, and I'm sorry I'm waffling on about it, it's just that's like such a huge thing that's coming up at the moment. So it's like I don't really, um, I would love to have definitive answers, but I don't. So um, that's like a huge thing that's been on my mind recently. But yeah, so anyway, that's going to be coming up. But the next kind of thing we're going to be doing on the channel. Um, sorry, I got some dust on my microphone. Just wipe that off real quick. I hope that didn't deafen any of you. Um, holy crap, how long is that going to take? Also, may I ask? 
Um, how long is it going to take? I don't know. A few weeks. Uh, a few weeks anyway. Our builder's brilliant. Like he's really quick. Um, we've used him many times before. He's a lovely guy. Um, he's really sound. He's good, and he's a good worker. He's not one of those builders that like drags it out. He like gets the work done. Like he's really efficient, and he's very good at what he does. Um, why is that so much other house? I don't. Oh, reasons, reasons best known to himself. I don't know. Probably me annoying the crap out of him for the last like five years about getting, getting pulled out of your trap. I don't know to be honest. Um, I don't. I don't have really have an answer for that. But um, anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna. Get, I'll, anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on that. I will keep you updated on that. Uh, we might have a live again in a month. I don't know. Maybe we'll pick a day in the month that we'll do with like, you know, the fourth fourth one or the third one or you know whatever um but yeah because what i might do as well i'm thinking about doing if you guys are interested in it, is i now have access to memberships in the channel so we could do some bonus content on that um like some bonus videos and extra live streams and you know if people are interested in that um let me know um but yeah, as, I, as I've already mentioned, guys, like I'd like to do extra stuff and all that kind of crack. But I don't want to be whole, I don't want to be locking stuff up behind paywalls. Um, you know, the kind of way. Um, because I know there's a lot of creators I watch and like there's loads of I really want to watch there, but it's like membership. And if you can't afford the membership, then you can't watch, which kind of sucks. Um, and especially I know a lot of people pay for YouTube premium. And you like when you get YouTube premium, you also have to pay for membership separately. So I think I think I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, free membership. I wish I could do free membership, but no, they don't. You have to pay for it, unfortunately. Um, maybe not fortunately, but that's just that. That's how the system works. Um, but yeah, and I also want to say, in case anybody's wondering, anybody who gives super chats or you know uses that, or if we do eventually do the memberships or the merch, any money I make from that, I will be investing back into this. You know what I mean? investing into my youtube channel and invest in improvement so i can make better content for you guys i'm not just going to go and buy a like load of rubbish you know what i mean go buy a tesla <laughs> i don't know why a tesla what i want i'd love a tesla um i don't want to pay the i wouldn't like to pay the insurance on them though but um you know the kind of way if i do decide to start that stuff up again it's not mandatory guys i want to make that really really clear i do not want anyone to feel under pressure to pay money for my content. Um, more treats for Max. Exactly. Let's be real. Anytime I get a bit extra, Maxi always benefits from it. Um, but yeah, if I do, we do do memberships, we do do super chats, any of that stuff. If you do decide to take part in that, you know, I will be using it to better and improve the stream, make content for you guys, you know. Tesla batteries explode. That's terrifying. Wow. Wow. Also, I'm I'm a bit um I'm a bit a bit away from Tesla money out there, love. <laughs> um, I'm not Mr. Beast, <laughs> okay. But um, watch caller. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting off topic. I apologize. I'm getting off topic. Um, anyway, so coming soon, very soon, kitchen series. We're going to be decluttering the whole thing. Like, there's so much. Like the amount of baking stuff I have that I held on to, and like I think I've maybe made two cakes. Like maybe two, if even two. Um, so I need to go go through all that and get rid of a lot of it because we also have um a problem we have in our kitchen. Maybe maybe problem is a bit strong of a word, but an annoying thing we have in our kitchen is the cabinets, um, are not very high. So I have the, um, I have the Ninja Air Fryer, and anybody who owns Ninjas, I have the XL one. So it's quite oh, there we go. Hello. It's quite high. It won't fit into the into the presses. It's too high, and it's like it's like just too high, which is really annoying. Um, and then I also I don't know if I shared it on the channel. It'll come up more in the next couple of months as we're coming into the summer. I got a ninja creamy. I treated myself to a ninja creamy. Lads, like I make my own ice cream and sorbet. Um, also, if anybody wants to see a video on that, let me know. We could do a little ninja creamy video. Um, I got that. I made some delicious ice cream. It's unreal. I need a pantry. I freaking, I do need a pantry. I need a new bloody kitchen. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, I can dream, okay? Leave me alone. I can dream. Um, It's so good. Like, I got, I read the recipe and the, like, the, it comes with the creamy. 
And I was a bit like, you know, is this going to be nice? Is it going to be a bit... Bleh? It's really good. Like, it's so good. I was super impressed. I made the... I made the vanilla base, I made the chocolate base, and I made the strawberry base. I said, I'd keep it simple, make the three of them, because my Ninja has three tubs. I know you can buy more. It's Ninja Creamy, should I say. Has three tubs. So I had the vanilla one, and then what I did was I had cookie dough made from making cookies. So I put that, I put little chunks of that into it, and then, you know, well, I blended the, the ice cream, and then I put the chunks in, and then I blended it again. Oh, so nice. Um, I also found out that Ben and Jerry's, because I love Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. Um, Ben and Jerry's actually do the cookie dough pieces, like frozen in like a bag. Um, now I haven't found them yet. I haven't been able to find them yet, but apparently that's a thing that they do. So I'm gonna have a look for that. Now I do like the homemade cookie dough, but the thing with my homemade cookie dough is it's it's regular cookie dough. It's not like you're going to shops get ice cream. Do it. Do it. Um. <laughs> but um, yeah I, I put regular cookie dough in you know which I'm not going to openly recommend on the internet because that could be dangerous Um, the last time I checked chickens in Ireland are salmon and E. coli free for the most part Um, Ireland flex <laughs> just Jerry the country flex um, oh and happy St. Patrick's Day everybody who I missed didn't say it to um, but yeah, most of our pretty much all of our chicken is salmonella and E. coli free. So I you know the way you know we all licked the spoon in the bowl for after the bacon when we were children, some of us still do it. Um, but there's also always a risk with raw eggs, raw flour, all that kind of stuff that you can get food poisoning. So I used frozen stuff. So I probably won't share that recipe with you because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube for sharing Danish recipes. Um <laughs> but uh, what I did find out is Ben and Jerry's have the recipe for their cookie dough on their website. It's just sitting there. I was like, I'm going to Google if I can make one similar. It was just sitting there for anybody to read. I was like, oh, thanks very much, Ben and Jerry's. Um, this video is not sponsored, just clarify. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I made my own. I use my regular, I have my cookie dough recipe from, I think it's Nigella. Yeah, Nigella Lawson. Cookie dough recipe, I made, I used some of the frozen cookie dough, I put it in the ice cream, I mixed it, it's delicious. Strawberry ice cream, unbelievable. Like, it's, it, it tastes so fresh. And then what was the other one, the chocolate one? Was that one nice? Yeah, the chocolate one was nice. Um, It wasn't exactly how it was supposed to be because I ran out of double cream, but it was still pretty good. It was still really, really nice. Um, like, it tastes like you got it from, like, an ice cream shop and not just, like, you know, a tub in the... Excuse me. Sorry about the barking. Uh, like not just like a tub out of the freezer section in like the supermarket or whatever but like actually like from an ice cream shop it was really good my favourite Ben and Jerry's are peanut butter cups oh yeah that one's real good that one's really nice oh and I love an L baked Alaska oh I love a baked Alaska mango I must try that actually I haven't tried the sorbets yet Um, I'm waiting to come into summer to try them but like you get loads of recipes with it and then it turns out if you go on TikTok or on Instagram there's literally thousands, I mean thousands of videos and recipes and, you know, I want to try all of the things. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I got the Ninja Creamy. Anyway, after that 26 minute long tangent, guys, um, <laughs> now you guys have some idea of how my therapist feels. <laughs> Um, what you call her? Um, yeah. Anyway, the reason I brought up the Ninja Creamy in the first place is because it won't fit in the presses. It won't fit in the cabinets in the kitchen. Um, the highest cabinet we have, or like the, yeah, I suppose the highest one. Um, are the ones underneath where it's sitting on the counter. But the problem is, there's a shelf in the middle, and because the shelf in the middle it won't fit, so the the best place would probably be on the shelf beside the back door. But we're trying to get rid of that, not keep it there. Um. And then there's the press and the passage, but we already have all the stuff in that, like the cleaning products and fizzy drinks, um, like bottles of Coke and Seven Up and all that kind of stuff. Um, because I also buy, I buy my bottle, I buy, I drink Coke Zero, um, and I just buy the bottles in the wholesalers. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I don't know if they use different names for wholesalers around the world. Anyway, it's like it's Musgraves here, it's like Costco. 
in um, North America and other places. I think Costco is all over the place. Um, but it's that kind of thing. I buy it there. Um, it's just easier and it's much cheaper. How's your coffee corner? Oh my God, yeah, guys, I got a new coffee machine. I'm on a mad one. Um, it sounds like I have loads of money. I don't. Um, I bought my Ninja Creamy, I think before it was a Black Friday I brought it. I can't remember. Anyway, I bought it ages ago. I'd like to have a gadget station. Oh my God, yeah, that'd be so cool. Um, I got a new uh, Nespresso machine la last week, I want to say. I got it on adverts. Adverts is pretty much like um, Facebook Marketplace. Um, pretty much. Oh, I have a supervisor back again. Um, but, sorry guys, give me one second. There we go. Where are you? What are you doing? Oh, hi. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Are you going to say hello? Are you going to try and leave immediately because your daddy's gone downstairs? Look, is that you there? Maxie? No? Okay. Do you want to sit over there? Good boy. Now, sit down there. Can I have Paul? Can I have Paul? No? Okay. Anyway, getting distracted again, guys. Anyway, so I got a new coffee machine, got an espresso machine, because the one I have, I've had for... My God, I must have it nearly... It must be nearly 10 years old, I would say. But what's happening is the machine um, started just acting really weird, and I tried to... I cleaned it and I did all the things on the troubleshooting guide and I tried to fix it myself and reset it to factory settings and all that jazz and do all the things. Um, and it just, the coffee coming out of it was like tepid, warm. Um, and I was on their website, I checked it out and then I looked up into service. So obviously it's well out of warranty by now. So the service, it was 116 euro, I think. Sorry guys. What's wrong with you? Are you in or you out? Are we doing this game of in, out, in, out, shake it all about? Maxi occasionally goes through these phases where he wants to be both in and out at all times with everybody. Um, but anyway, so my machine basically was making me. Hello. Hello, baby boo. Everybody says hello. Add a boop. Add a bit of boop. Add a bit of boop. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but basically the coffee coming out of my machine was like barely warm. It was barely, barely warm. Um, and I tried resetting it to factory settings and adjusting and doing all the things. But basically they said service, it's a set price for service. It was 116 euro. Um, and I got the machine. I got a really good deal on the machine originally, but like that wasn't, that's just under what I paid for it. Like eight, 10 years ago. I don't know how long I have it. Um, it's eight years anyway, I think. What would it have been? 26? 24. I think it's eight years. I think it's eight, seven or eight. Yeah, I think around that. <laughs> Kitty cat. <laughs> it's not far off, B. It's not far off. But anyway, I have it that long and I've taken really good care of it. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me. But um, basically, the machine is not working how it's supposed to. So, 116 euro for repair. So I said to myself, oh, Mr. Baby Rolo. Um, so I said to myself, I'm going to look it up. And I was actually talking to one of my friends who is actually on chat there. Sue, hello. It was her. Who suggested a website called Avert. It's like Facebook Marketplace. Um, to have a look there. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Um, so I went on. I found my own machine that I have. Um, and it was like, some of them are stupid prices. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, no one wants to hear me coughing. Um, but I actually came across my machine that I ended up getting um, for a third of the retail price. And it was only used a couple of times. The guy who gave it to me, who I bought it off, he was like, we only used it a couple of times because the milk compartment was so annoying to clean. Um, but it actually, the whole thing comes apart. So I don't know if he just didn't know the whole machine comes apart or what. But anyway, I just realized everything's gone from the room. Apart from the printer. And then the boxes need to go upstairs. I put in the attic. I just haven't been up to the attic yet. Um, <clears throat> because I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I'll do it in the next few days. I don't know why. I don't like the... Um, I don't like going up to our attic. Um, a couple of years ago, 
we used to have carpet in the hall. We got rid of that carpet. We have wood floors now. And we, the old ladder, ladder was, was measured for the carpet, the like, depth of the carpet. And then we changed it. I was halfway out of the attic one day or halfway up into the attic one day and there was no one here and the ladder slipped and I had a meltdown. Uh, I panicked like, and then I got stuck in the attic for like two and a half hours. Um, so I'm very, we've since gotten a new ladder, but I'm still like very like, I'm going to die. I'm still very precarious on the ladder. Um, but yeah, anyway, so for speaking of coffee, so anyway, I managed to get the machine, the machine that I wanted. Um, it was a machine I love and I was like, I'm going to look it up for the crack. It's so expensive. Um, I think it was like 350 euro or something like that, 300 euro. I was like, let's look it up for the crack. And I actually found it for half the price and then I managed to get them down to just around a third of the price. Um, so I got a new coffee machine. I was just like, it has like, it's the Latassimo Touch, I think it's called, Nespresso Latassimo Touch. So I managed to get that for a really good price. Um, so I have that now in my kitchen and I love it. Uh, I just need to get rid of my old one. Um, I don't know why I haven't got rid of it yet, but that's going to be probably in the video as well. Declutter that. Um, what else was I going to, what else did I talk to you about? I talked to you about the renovations. I don't know. They're going to be happening very soon. Um, kitchen series is coming up. What I'm also hoping to do this year, which has never been done on the channel before, is the office. Um, you guys have never seen the office. Um, it has never been decluttered or renovated or anything. Not renovated, that's so dramatic, it's not being renovated. But it's never been decluttered or reorganised or anything um, on the channel. So that will be coming up definitely this year. I need to empty it out. Um, there's a lot of old paperwork and stuff in it that needs to be shredded and gone through and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to be a big job. Um, what else is there? Let me try and think. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything new? Yeah, well, I, it will be at some stage, B, but um, I don't know when because the renovations are being done in there, so I can't really do anything. And also, it's not up to me what comes or goes in there. Um, the last time I did it, um, I think a good bit went, but, you know, not a huge amount. Because um, he's not really someone who has, like, a lot of crap anyway, so, or a lot of stuff, should I say. Um, but, yeah, now I'm trying to think now, is there anything else? Yeah, so I'll think, um, I think if I'm doing merch or anything, I'm going to put polls up on Keep an Eye on the Community tab. You'll see stuff for that. Because um, I'd love to get your guys' input on that. Um, and memberships. And anything like that. Any of the stuff I've kind of mentioned in today's video. Um, keep an eye on the Community tab. I don't use it as much as I should. And I am going to get better in using it. Um, with stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the bedroom will become, or the, tell me the bedroom. The kitchen will be coming up soon. We have the renovations. We're going to be doing the office at some stage. Um, what else is there? I feel like there's some other thing I was meant to talk to you about that I probably mentioned at the start of the video and now I can't remember what it is. Um, if anyone remembers, please drop it in chat. <laughs> or just like cover everything. And I'm worrying over not now. I need to get my hair done as well. Oh, in case any of you didn't notice, my hair's blown now. It's blown. Um, it was done in December, so it needs to be, as you can see. See, me, me, me as a natural blonde. <laughs> JK lol. You could also do decorating videos. Yeah, well, I, I, I may do that as well. I, I probably will do that once the renovations are finished. Um, coming up, I, I'll probably do a couple of cleaning videos as well throughout the year. Um, and I'm probably going to do, like, as I mentioned, a Ninja Creamy video, if you guys are interested in that. If you're not, like, if you're, if you're like, I don't care about the Ninja Creamy, I don't care about ice cream, I don't want to know about that. That's, let me know. That's again, really? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll just wait then. So, if you're a YouTube Premium member, you don't have ads. So you're probably sitting here looking at me going, you're not really saying much right now. And I'm not because I'm just waiting for the ads to clear. Um, so, for those of you who weren't here at the very start of the video when I talked about this, um, thankfully, thanks to you guys, my channel has been monetized by YouTube, which is amazing. Um, so, there's now going to be ads on the channel. And I don't have control as to where the ads come in at the start or the end or which ones or how long they are or any of that stuff. I have no control over any of that. Um, that's all YouTube. But I don't have premium. Yeah, they, I think they just hit at different times for different people to be on, to different people to be honest. I'm not sure if they're like set times. Um no what's for me I don't have premium. I don't know. I think it's I yeah as well as that I think what'll happen is is different countries with YouTube will, will do different things. Um 
I think Darkling are did you correct me wrong, you're in the UK, aren't you? Um and then you're in Canada, so it could just be that it could be um Ah thanks, young one. Yeah, very good, so yeah, very good. Um but I think I think different countries probably apply ads differently. I don't I don't know the ins and outs of the algorithm. Um but I am new to Robert. Um yeah, so it's probably something to do with that. But anyway, the only thing I have control over is the ads in the middle of the videos. So I've just set it to normal. I didn't set it to high or anything like that. That was an option. I was like, I don't want you guys getting stuck in ads every 40 seconds. Good morning. Good morning, Don. How are you? How are you getting on? Let me know. Um, but yeah, so there are there, there are ads in the channel. I have had a few comments. Um, maybe she just need to use the word comments. I've had a few messages from a few people about that. Like about, oh, there's more ads on your channel now. I'm like, there is. There's nothing. Hey, Nemo, how are you, my love? Um, you're making money off of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta ask. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, so as I, I was just mentioning there, Don and Nemo, that there are ads on the channel now. I have been contacted by a couple of people about the ads. Um, but that's basically how we YouTube creators get paid is through ad revenue. Um, but also YouTube have control over the ads. Um, I don't. Um I the only ads I'm allowed to control are the ones in the middle. And I've just put them, I've just le left it set as normal. Um, I haven't put on extra ads or anything like that. If there's more ads than you've seen before, that's, you know, I, I didn't add, I didn't say high level of ads. I just said normal level of ads. Um, and again, they may hit differently for you. Some countries may have more or less ads or longer or shorter ads. I don't control any of that. I know it used to be a thing that you could set all that with YouTube, but they did update a couple of months ago, I want to say, maybe weeks ago. Um that they now control all of that. YouTube are in charge of what plays when, how it plays, how long it is, if it's skippable, non-skippable, um, all that kind of jazz. I have no control over it. I just want to let you guys know that in case people, in case anyone's sitting there thinking, oh, you're actually all the ads on and da 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 I'm not. I didn't, I don't, um, I don't have control over that. Um, but I am getting ad revenue now. Um, and then Super Chats are there. And as I mentioned, for anyone who's just joined, we may be doing memberships. We may be doing merch. Again, I'll put a post in the community tab about it more. We'll switch into my tablet from my phone. Don't apologize, Neo. Absolutely not. You're here, which is awesome. Um, And I know I did. I put up a community post as well this morning because I know at the moment uh, daylight savings has happened in North America, uh, but it hasn't happened in Europe yet. Well, it hasn't happened in Ireland anyway. So we're not in daylight savings till next Sunday, I think. So usually between ourselves and Eastern Standard Time, there's five hours and there's eight hours then between Pacific Standard Time and Ireland. But because of the daylight savings, there's usually only a week in between it, but for some reason this year there's a month um, or nearly a month. So um, at the moment we're four hours apart and seven hours apart, four hours apart with Eastern Standard Time, seven hours apart with Pacific Standard Time. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you have popped in here and thought, you're on at a weird time. This is a different time than usual. It may be for you, but it is in fact the same time for me. Because <laughs> we haven't gone through daylight savings yet. Um, But yeah, from the 30... The 31st, I believe. So we're 22nd, so next week will be 29th. So not next week, but the following week, we should be back to normal time alignment shall I say so we'll be back to uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 1. so we'll be back to 8am Eastern Standard Time 5am Pacific Standard Time from not next week but the following week, April Um, yeah, I think is Easter next? I think Easter's week, next week? I think it's next week Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's how Easter laid this year but I know in the past it's been about a week um, or two weeks for daylight savings and then I know obviously in um, around the world at different times. I remember previously one of my friends was living in Australia and they did daylight savings at a different time again. Um, so if you're in Australia, actually let me know what's the story with your daylight savings. Um, because we haven't hit it yet. So if you're wondering about weird hours, that is why. That is why. Um, but yeah, so I think I've covered everything. Um, if any, As I mentioned already, if anyone has any questions for me, please drop them in the chat. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, 
Sí, por favor, sí. Ni sí. Por ese lado. Y con ese lado. I just got side eye. You give me side eye? You give me side face? Okay. He's not Tucker down. Just running up and down the stairs, barking at everybody. Uh, Easter's the 31st. Yeah, well, that's that's actually, that's the day we go. 31st is the day we go um, down at savings. Um, I don't know if we always do it on Easter, to be honest. I think we might, but I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, he's on the bed. He's chilling today. Um... He hasn't really been in much of the last few videos. I don't know why he just isn't. Um, he goes through phases of being interested in it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, so anyway, renovations are starting in the next couple of weeks, as I know I've already mentioned. Um, kitchen starting next week. Provisioning next week. I'm going to say provisioning next week. I'm not going to say 100% next week. I'm going to say provisioning next week. Um, but I have to say I'm feeling much better now than I have been in the last two weeks or so because as I've said, I haven't been very well. Um, I'm heading off to work. Have a great day. You too, Don. Have an amazing day, my love. See you later. Um, but yeah, um, what else? I don't want to keep the live going, guys, as well um, for the sake of it. So that's why I'm trying to think is have I covered everything because I don't want to be taking up y'all's day if you're just going to be sitting here looking at me doing nothing. Because nobody wants to watch that. Have you decided on colours for your room? No, I really haven't. There's there's one part of me that just wants to paint it white. Like, just like, no, I don't mean like brilliant white, but like, you know, really neutral, really toned down shades. Because I also think that's much easier to decorate. Um, And there's a part of me that wants to go mad and do like some bright colour or like glitter paint. Is it really bad that I want glitter paint? I love glitter. It looks so pretty. The problem with me is I'm worried I'd do it and then like a week later I'll be like, yeah, and I'm kind of done with that now. I'm kind of bored. Um, let me know when you do merch. Maybe I can pick you back. <laughs> For sure, my love. Creeping crap. It's everywhere. What's everywhere? I'm confused. Oh, the glitter. Oh, yeah, no, I get it. Have you seen that? Has everyone seen the videos? If you go on Instagram or I literally just Google it. Um, Google it. There's a T in that word. Sorry, Irish people don't pronounce their T's. Um, but there's paint that has, they put, you literally mix the glitter into the, like, the matte emulsion for the wall. Um, my client's got it now for losing calls. Oh, oh no. Well, I hope they're feeling better, Nemo. I hope you don't catch it either. Um, but yeah, I'm half tempted, guys, because I love glitter. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting very rambly, guys. I do I do apologise most profusely. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I think I've covered everything. I've covered it. Renovations start in a few weeks. We're doing the kitchen series, hopefully starting next week. All going well. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, I'll put all the stuff up in the community posts in the next couple of weeks about merch memberships all that kind of stuff more information i'll probably throw up a couple, a couple of polls if you guys want to vote in them um only for anyone who's just joined if you see me looking over here it's because my chat is here that's why i'm looking over there um use the flu name i'm so sorry don't want it to be honest how about fairy lights oh yeah I, I do i have some little little twinkie lights i want to put up in my room i also have led strips which i'd really like to put up but they may also go into off space i'm not sure yet could you glitter one item like your bedside cabinet? I could, but like, it's like, I think it's like, I like the idea of the paint because it's just in the wall and then I don't have to worry about it and there's not glitter all over the floor. <laughs> I, I, I also, it's very likely I will get over the idea before it even happens. I'll be like, yeah, nah. Um, I also need to look into it because I know, um, who was I talking to? I was talking to somebody recently who had a similar idea to me, but they said that the particular one that they needed to get to put into the paint was really, like, it was going to cost hundreds to do it. I was like, I'm not spending that much on it. I don't want it that badly. Um, But it was really expensive to do it. So I was like, I was just doing it more for the crack, like, than anything else. Um, C or AIC, to clarify, okay? Don't you be getting ideas. Um, Your headboard wall. Yeah, do you know what else I need to do? I need to get a headboard. <laughs> I don't have a headboard. Um, I haven't had one for several years because I just didn't like them. Um... I hated that every time I moved in my in my bed, it would like hit against the wall, drove me nuts. 
Um, and also the one we had, I think, was like velour or something, like a satiny. No, satin's not the right. It was like a velour thing, and it was just a nightmare. So it just like clung to dust. It like attracted dust. I felt like it created dust. To be honest, no flu here. Me. Oh, that's good. I don't want to be on the table with fairy lights. You don't want to watch Nemo. Is that the, the, the glitter paint or what? I'm confused. I gotta be honest, Nemo. I'm not firing on all cylinders today. I'm firing on like I'm about 85%. We're doing well. Um, but I'm not on all cylinders today. I, I I may have missed a chat, and that could be why I'm misunderstanding you. Um Oh, how was your ragu, by the way, Nemo? How'd that go? You're making it was it last week? Glitter is a dust magnet. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. And also, if you have glitter in a room, you'll like you can hoover that room, you can dust that room, you can clean that room four hundred times. You you put on the Christmas decorations, you're still gonna find it in the Hoover in July. It's gonna happen. Yeah, and the thing as well is what I what I found it recently very upsetting information that I found out. Uh, a lot of glitters are just made purely from plastic. I never even thought of what it was made of. Not very good for the environment. Um, and I'm trying to be more environmentally conscious. Um, also, I'm going to say really quickly for anyone who's just joined, um, hopefully I will have a Amazon storefront very soon um, for any items I've mentioned in my previous videos. Just want to let you guys know that. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything, guys, to be honest. I've told you about the renovations. We have talked about the upcoming videos. Uh, we're going to have a series in the office. We're going to have the kitchen coming up soon. Um, unless there's any questions anybody has for me. So guys, I'm sitting on like, I don't know if you guys can see it, a crappy wooden chair. Is that the edge of it? The edge of it's there. It's a crappy wooden chair and it's really not comfortable. And this desk is like set. It's very small. I'm sitting strangely. Your English accents are really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you kindly. Like... <laughs> Half the time I don't even realise I'm doing them, to be honest. Um... Yeah, I used to I used to uh I used to be a lot better at accents than I am now. Um I used to be trending to be an actor. Uh back 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 in the day. I have a diploma in DL acting from back in the day. Um love to everyone. You too be. But yeah, unless anybody's any more questions for me, um I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um and let you guys go. Oh yeah, because we're already two o'clock. Um we're just after two o'clock actually. Um well, two o'clock for me, not probably two o'clock for you. Move to everyone here, but no, you are B. Stop it. Stop it now. Um, yeah, so I, I hope you guys can hear. I've just realized I'm bang. I didn't even realize I was like banging against the drawer there. I hope that wasn't really, really left in the microphone. I'm getting to that stage there where I'm getting a bit fidgety. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it all up. Um, what was I gonna say to you guys? Um, if you have any other questions that I haven't mentioned or haven't talked about, or if you're watching this later on, if you're watching this back, drop them down in the comments below, please. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, we'll probably do this again in a couple of weeks, um, if you guys are interested in that. Um, I will be trying to do more on my um, community tab, getting better at that. Um, and I need to start getting back into my social medias. Um, we currently have a Instagram page. I have a TikTok. I have a Twitter X. Twitter. Guys, honestly, I'm gonna delete it. Um Twitter is a Twitter has become a has become the epitome of just I don't even know what to call it, guys. I don't even know what to, it's not a good place to be. Um a lot of the time. Um so I may delete that. If you are following me on Twitter and I randomly disappeared, that's why. Uh, sorry, X, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't. I just don't use it. I have a Pinterest, I think. I'll probably connect my Amazon storefront to that when I get that set up. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling now, lads. We're rambling. We're rambling. We're rambling. Anyway, excuse me, Mister Baby. We say goodbye to everybody, please. Hello, can I see your beautiful face? Can I see your beautiful face? Can you see his beautiful face? Oh, there's his beautiful face. Oh, I love you so much. He's a good boy. Boop. Anyway, from myself, from Mr. Maxi. Have a great one. I see you next week, hopefully. You too, my lovely. You do the X like a crucifix for a vampire. Well, it's fitting, B. It's fitting. <laughs>
<laughs> keep putting the toxicity from X away from me. Um, I've been thinking about deleting X. I never, yeah, no, me too. It's I don't use it, it's trash. Um, but anyway, right, sorry, waffly. Anyway, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing here, there, here. I don't know, one of them, it's over there somewhere. Could be, it could be up beside me. I don't know. There's also a little picture in the corner of this video. If you're on desktop, click on that. Where's the subscribe? You can do it there. Anyway, uh, any questions, leave them down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you have a fantastic week and a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead. And I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.